So I had this really cool experience uh, a week ago or so, a couple of days ago, it wasn't even that long ago. The one and only legendary Hubert Laws came to Cape Town, lucky us, to give a little workshop. And he just inspired me so much to kind of pick up, you know, my improvisation again and just really to explore this aspect of my playing. And I thought today I'm going to share this with you guys. Now this is such an awesome way to kind of express your creativity, to enhance your oral skills, to, you know, just kind of get everything going. And we just don't actually do it enough. So I'm going to take you on a very liberating journey today and check out improvisation. <laughs> honestly didn't get into this myself until quite recently and it really is a bit of a hurdle to jump over so the first thing you kind of have to do is just forget about the idea of you know what you're supposed to do what's correct what's written on paper and just you know let go of judgment and mistakes and all those things and just actually go for it first thing I would really encourage you to start with is just taking a simple scale like a G major scale or an F major scale and just trying to create a little melody and maybe you know this isn't something that comes naturally to you at first and that's okay you know you can just kind of let it go but it doesn't have to be anything complicated you know it can just be simple easy something small maybe you're just playing around with even three notes like I did or four notes like I did now maybe you want to become more adventurous and try more but just you know getting that going getting that feeling going of hearing a melody in your head and playing it on the instrument or maybe not even hearing the melody in your head just playing it on the instrument a nice little exercise that a colleague of mine showed me I did a little sort of like classical improv workshop with her and it was just ugh, so cool really amazing but this little exercise really you just take a G major scale and on your G major scale each note you kind of move up and you're going to do a little improvised melody on each note of the scale so simple keeping it easy as you go along with that you can you know elaborate more you can embellish more you can do more with it but you know just we are breaking the borders or the boundaries of what we're used to the kind of like little confined space that we've put ourselves in that little box we're throwing it all out and just being a bit daring now if you are starting out with improv a really simple kind of easy way to get into this is to take a piece of music that you know really well such as uh, summertime such as even a piece of baroque music can be surprisingly liberating I actually remember when I started I took some simple English folk songs one of them uh, I mean I'm not sure if you even know the song but it's called raggle taggle gypsies and it's a very very simple little song nothing fancy but when you start improving improving over it or just filling in notes so at this point you're not even thinking about like creating whole new melodies you're just like filling in some of the notes so I'm gonna just show you this on summertime uh, because it's you know quite a well-known melody so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna first get going and play the melody <laughs> very simple melody then what I can do is I can start to add a few little extra notes you know here and there maybe fill in some little jumps or whatever so so once again nothing fancy nothing you know overly amazing but just experimenting with playing around with what's written on the page and just mixing it up a little then I can start to become a little bit more adventurous, perhaps. So, so you 
working is still kind of here. I'm sticking to the basic outline of the melody, but I'm getting a little bit more adventurous. And as you go, you can just kind of expand on this and make it more adventurous. Sometimes, you know, you take it too far. Sometimes you kind of going to rein it back in a bit. And that's fine. It's great. I really encourage that. Another really great way that I started to learn to improvise is by taking your favorite songs, whether it's a pop song, whether it's a jazz song, even if it's a classical song. And just playing it, you know, on, on your cell phone or your laptop or whatever, maybe even a good old fashioned CD player. And from there, you just, you know, make up, figure out, try and kind of figure out or hear out what key you're in and then go for it. So I'm going to, you know, get this going. With John Legend. Here we go. I'm just going to do a little snippet of that to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. And it's nothing fancy. And I, uh, okay, I will admit I've practiced this. I, I did this a bit yesterday. So I kind of have an idea of what works and what doesn't work. Um, so figure it out. If it sounds tragic and horrible at first, don't be shied away. Don't have judgment for yourself. Just keep trying. Keep going. Keep doing a thing. And be amazed how these puppies really develop. It's amazing. It's really amazing. The last thing I really want to encourage you, and especially if you have been playing around with this and if you have been kind of trying out and become daring, take an even bigger step and go find some musicians that you can do this with. Whether it is a friend that also maybe plays the flute or whatever, whether it is a pianist, a guitarist, a jazz band, whatever you can kind of get your hands on, be brave, be bold and meet up with them and just go for it. You know. I think the quickest way to learn is unfortunately just kind of to do it and throw yourself in the deep end. And I remember I, I had this experience where I was playing this gig, you know, playing with in a duo and we were doing very classical kind of stuff. And there was a jazz band playing, a small jazz band, and they did um, some jazz standards. And they, you know, I was, I was warming up before the gig and sometimes I like to just play you know, kind of melodies I love. And I think that this particular time, actually, I played Summertime, just warming up and, and doing a little bit of improv in between. And the guy heard me and he said to me, why don't you just come play with us? And I thought, no, I can't, you know, I can't do that. There's no way I'm, I'm not good enough. I'm just kind of like fiddling around here and doing nothing. And you know how it is, you have a glass of wine or two, you start feeling quite brave. And I Next thing I know, I'm up on stage and I'm and I'm playing with them. They were kind enough to play Summertime, which I did know very well. And it was amazing. I actually, it was so amazing to realize that my ear was capable of much more than I thought it was. So don't sell yourself short. Go for it. Be brave. Okay, my friends, my wonderful friends, that is all we have time for today. I encourage you to really just experiment and have fun on this journey. It is probably one of the most liberating, exciting and freeing experiences you can have in music is just being able to improvise in this way. And it's something that will grow and develop as you grow and develop and as your ability grows and develops. So even if you, you know, right at the beginning, maybe you only can play like three notes already now, I encourage you don't get stuck to your music or the page. Really just go for it.